Hey Coyote Nation, good Thursday to you. A rainy Thursday in the Ozarks. Hopefully you'll be staying warm and dry. It's really not that cold out, just a little bit rainy. So rainy, in fact, that the uh, Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals, had to cancel their home opener today. Uh, too much rain, too much water, so they will do the home opener tomorrow afternoon against the Padres instead of today. The Cards have been playing well lately. Uh, they uh, That first series of the season, they lost three of four to the Brewers. Uh, then they go to Pittsburgh and sweep a two-game series there, coming from behind in both those games, winning in extra innings. So good job for the Cardinals. They start the year with a 10-game road trip, and they're sitting in second place doing all right with a 3-3 three three record. So not a bad start for the Cardinals at all. Looking pretty good. A uh, little bit of hope for uh, this season, but no home opener today. They'll have to do it tomorrow because of all the rain, of course. Now, the Royals have been playing all their games so far at home, just the opposite of the Cardinals. And today... They're playing their first road game of the year in Detroit against the Tigers. It's the Tigers' home opener, so the Royals are 2-3 and three on the season going into today. The Cardinals 3-3 three and three on the season going into today. Now, while the baseball season is just starting, the hockey season is starting to wind down. Uh, in fact, the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs get started next week. And the Blues are already in. The Blues have secured a playoff spot. They're down to their last two games of the regular season, including a game tonight at home against uh, the Flyers. And then their last game of the regular season will be Saturday, I think, against Vancouver. And then it's into the Stanley Cup playoffs next week. Now, here's how amazing uh, a season it's been for the Blues. Just a couple of months ago, they were the worst team in the NHL. The worst team. And then they got it turned around, started playing a lot better. They fired their coach, of course. And uh, since that point, when they were the worst team in the league, they are now just one point out of first place with two games to go. Uh, one point behind a couple of teams, Winnipeg and Nashville. So there's actually a chance that the Blues could leapfrog them both and end up in first place going into the playoffs. If not, they're already in the playoffs, but it would uh, certainly help their uh, their positioning and home ice advantage and, and all of that stuff. Uh, NFL, yesterday we gave you our weekly Kansas City Chiefs update, what's going on with the Chiefs. We'll do that every week now, probably on Wednesdays for the most part with our Chiefs expert Jason Stapleton. Uh, but a uh, little sad NFL news today. Did you hear about Matthew Stafford's wife? Um, she she does a lot of stuff on Instagram, and she's usually telling people about the family, you know, and what it's like being an NFL wife and all that stuff. Well, she had some sad news uh, this week on Instagram announcing that she has been diagnosed with a brain tumor. So pretty scary stuff, especially, you know, a young lady... Uh, young kids and everything, it's uh, very scary. So she will be uh, having a brain surgery to try to deal with that tumor here in the next few weeks. So you might keep her in your prayers. And also, I mean, it doesn't seem like it today with all of this rain and everything, but uh, summer's right around the corner. Lake Race 2019 is right around the corner. June 1st is the date, of course, 107.9 The Coyote is your official radio station of Lake Race 2019. We would love for you to join us, be involved. It's a Coyote Nation event, so everybody in Coyote Nation is welcome to join in however, however you would like to, basically. You can be a spectator and just watch, have a good time. It's like NASCAR on the water. You can volunteer if you want, you know, get get kind of the behind the scenes experience and have have fun doing that. Or you can be a sponsor if you want to be a sponsor. Really, you can be involved however you want to be. But feel free to join us and make this a Coyote Nation event. So on this day in sports history, this day in 1974, Hank Aaron, Hammer and Hank, uh, tied Babe Ruth's home record uh, by hitting his 714th home run. That happened on this day in 1974. On this day in 1986, Wayne Gretzky, the great one in hockey, set the NHL record with his 213th point of the season. The uh, quote of the day comes from Bobby Knight, 
the uh, college basketball coaching grade, Bobby Knight, right? He said, your biggest opponent isn't the other guy. Your biggest opponent isn't the other guy. It's human nature. That's from Bobby Knight. Interesting. Don't you love sports quotes? Uh, that's a good one from uh, Bobby Knight. Hopefully you're joining us in Coyote Nation 107.9, the Coyote. We've got the best music for you. Uh, great shows all day long. Jamie Turner taking you through the middays. And, of course, Casey and the Round Man in the afternoon, 3 to 6. That is the best show in the Ozarks. They have so much fun. They uh, laugh so much. Uh, you'll have to check it out if you haven't already three to six in the afternoon. And of course, be sure to catch my Renegade Radio Sports updates. About 35 minutes past the hour from 6.30 in the morning to 6.30 in the evening all day long. I try to keep you up to date, let you know what's going on and have some fun in the process. Uh, join us on 107.9 The Coyote. Also, you're probably watching this on Facebook. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. We try to do a lot of fun and entertaining stuff there um, and keep you informed on what's going on. And our website is 1079thecoyote.com. So there's a lot of ways you can join us in Coyote Nation. Have yourself a great day. Stay dry. A little bit of rain for the next few days, I guess. But that kind of comes with spring, right? And God bless you.